Hybrid vehicles have some safety general rules. And first and foremost, it's to disable the high voltage battery pack. Disable that battery pack with a safety switch or plug before servicing. In fact, it's a very good idea to disconnect the 12 volt battery. It controls the high voltage battery pack control module as well as the power contacts. Now, if you don't need voltage in this vehicle to do whatever testing you're doing, then it's a good idea to disconnect the 12 volt battery. The manual disconnect switch is the first component that you should be aware of because it is the manual disconnect switch. You can see in the blue there we have the subsystems, the controllers, the power steering motors, access covers and switches, high voltage accessories, AC motors, and in the yellow there we have the manual disconnect switch. Here we'll show you a photograph of it. Here's a manual disconnect switch on a Prius. You can see it's orange, meaning that there's high voltage there. Now the manual disconnect switch does exactly what it name implies. It's exactly what it names implies. It disconnects the high voltage battery pack. It isolates that high voltage battery pack. There isn't a common location or a common appearance for this, but as it changes from vehicle to vehicle, we'll show you some pictures here, and you're going to use the service manual to find the location and how to disconnect it. On first generation Priuses at the bottom we have a drawing there. We'll show you an actual photograph in a minute. The hybrid battery on these first generation Prius is going to be disconnected by opening a trunk, removing the liner from the left front corner, and pulling straight back on a small orange handle to remove the plug. The plug should be removed from the car until it's time to reconnect the battery. Make sure that you have a policy in place what to do with these safety switches when they're out of the vehicle. Do you tether them somewhere? Do you store them somewhere? What do you do? Make sure you have a procedure going. Now here in the top left hand corner we see a overall photograph of a battery pack with the switch in the lower left hand corner there. In the right top we see a close up of that switch and it's up in its upright position and it's locked. In the center there, we see the handle's been pulled down. It's unlocked. In the lower left and the lower right, we show you that on this switch, it's pulled down to be unlocked, and then you pull it out. Now, you can see the problem in this picture as this gentleman is pulling out a first-generation manual disconnect switch. Can you see it? He's not wearing any gloves. Make sure you wear your class zero safety gloves with the leather protectors. On 04 and up Priuses, the Toyota says disconnect the conventional 12 volt battery which is located in the trunk. We'll show you a picture of that in a minute. And that's going to keep the power relays from closing. Here we're showing you the 12 volt battery. Now it's a little bit different than the batteries we're used to, but it does the same job. In the technical part of this hybrid training, we'll talk about that glass matted battery. Alright, then after you disconnect that 12 volt battery, you want to locate the service plug. It's going to be on the left side of the high voltage battery pack. You're going to pull the handle down like we showed you and remove it. Don't forget to wear your insulated gloves. So here in the top left, it's locked. And of course, in the lower right, it's unlocked. When you want to pull it out, you unlock it and pull it out. When you put it back in, you slide it in, and then make sure that handle gets locked down. If you have to remove or replace the fuse, the main fuse for the hybrid system, it's going to be located under the service plug. And it's going to be held in place by two bolts. Most of them are. Remember that you have to remove the service plug to check for voltage on this fuse. You don't want to check for uh, voltage on this fuse with this plug in. So you're really going to check the fuse by removing it. Wear insulated gloves. Wear insulated gloves. Make sure you wear the gloves. When the service plug is replaced, make sure the handles return to the upright position and locked into place. And here's a photograph. We removed the cover from this Prius service plug and we're showing you the 125 amp fuse that's bolted down. Now, if you're on a Honda, you're going to disconnect the battery by removing the rear seat back cushion. You're going to remove two screws from the small cover and then in the lower right hand corner you can see what looks like 
a regular house light switch. It is not a regular house light switch. It is the Honda Civic Hybrid Safety Switch. And it's clearly marked on and off. You want to move it down to the off position. On an escape, it's in the rear passenger compartment. You pull the rug and the carpeting away and you can see it there. And you're going to wear your leather gloves. You're going to turn it counterclockwise and then pull up on this switch. So let's look at that. In the top right, we see it in its locked position. Now, use your your protection gloves, your class zero gloves. Turn it counterclockwise and pull straight up on it. When they're new, they're very difficult to pull out. Be careful. You can see the covers off on the lower left. Let's look at that. On the... Uh, what's that, 10 o'clock and 4 o'clock position, we can see the screws there. In what might be the 7.30 and the 2.30 position, we can see the terminals for the high voltage. That's what the switch connects when it's in place. At the 12 and 6 o'clock positions, you can see holes. After you remove this orange safety switch from the escape, they want you to align the indent on the top of the switch cover so that you can place it in those two holes. That's storage for it. Now, here's a GM truck. You can see top left, it's locked. And of course, in the lower right, it's disconnected. Here on a GM SUV, it looks like a Prius plug. And that's just telling you that the vehicle manufacturer doesn't design the plug. It's the battery pack manufacturers that designed the plug. In this case, whoever made the Prius battery pack apparently made this battery pack. And that's why they look the same. So remember, no current's going to be produced by the motor generators as they're not going to be mechanically turning when you're working on this. No pushing or pulling. Now, that means if you have the car in the air, don't turn the drive wheels because that will make the motor generators produce high voltage. Now, no current will be available at the capacitors, which, of course, you took the time to discharge with the prescribed time interval, and that was 5 to 15 minutes. No current's going to be present in the vehicle's high voltage cables with the safety switch removed. But remember, the vehicle's high voltage battery will remain charged and is thus a potential current source. Although it's going to be isolated from the rest of the system, it's still a fully charged battery pack.